title of this one is Found My Girlfriend of One and a Half Years Has Been Cheating All Along. This one's wild. Uh, I remember this one, yeah. I, um, you know, I call this one Turbo Slut of the Year or Turbo Slut of the Year Award goes to this one here. So girlfriend of a year and a half fell asleep with her phone unlocked while I was still working. Uh, took her phone and plug it into charge and a, and a notification popped up with some guy I'd never heard of asking if she was alone. Right, Suspicious right away. Uh, I went through the chats and it was, and as it turns out, she's been hooking up with that guy for a few months during her girls' nights out. Something we cover in the School of Unplugging in extreme detail and how to manage those asks and when it might be appropriate. Uh, he goes, I dug deeper, checking into other males' DMs. Uh, turns out for the whole duration of our perfect relationship, she's been hooking up with a variety of different men. Some were total strangers she met on Instagram. Others were... I talk about Instagram again. I've talked about that before. Uh, she met on Instagram. Others were long-term friends. Again, nobody bangs more uh, girlfriends and wives than she's, or he's just a friend. Uh, that she occasionally banged, and there was even a married guy that she's been banging regularly. She was also... So what do we have here? We have the guy that she was talking to. We have the total strangers on Instagram. We'll call that two or three. So we'll go to three. At least. Uh, Longtime friends, not friend. So we'll call that another two. So we'll call it five. We're being very conservative here. And a married guy that's six. She's also disrespecting me and sending them our private chats, complaining that seeking comfort when we had a fight or something to go well for a few days. So she's banged at least six, probably 10 guys during the course of that year and a half. Uh, one day ago, I could have sworn that she's the last girl on earth that would have done something like this. Pay attention, guys. You have to be very attentive to a woman's be Guys like this don't watch behaviors and compare them to words. The other thing, too, is he's allowing behaviors to continue like girls' nights out or her using Instagram in a sexy or provocative way, you know, for example. Uh, could have sworn that she was the last girl on earth because you're an idiot. You're a plugged-in dork. Uh, could have done something like this and can, uh, and can be a person to look in your eyes, tell you that she loves you, talk about marriage, kids, and promise you the world. Guess who's a plugged-in beta male? Like we've got alpha seed and beta need. Guess who's beta need, right? Uh, and then do such disgusting things. I can't even be angry right now. I'm just shocked and can't really realize what I've seen. We both have a very important exam phase right now and a breakup would mess everything up. So I chose to pretend like nothing happened, but it's eating me up inside. I'm so disgusted. She tries hugging and kissing me and tells me she loves me all day long. Anyway, it goes blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't I don't even know how to approach the situation. She was per she was so perfect to me, and I've never been happier in the last few months. I hate myself for checking her phone. He hates himself for finding Crazy. out the truth. Uh, like, this is how self-deprecating guys are today. So weird, man. So weird that they it's allow stuff like this. That doormat shit. Yeah. And they'll find any they'll find any stupid excuse to justify not calling her out on her shit behavior and telling her to hit the bricks. We have an exam coming up. Oh, yep. that would really ruin it. Oh, she's got, justify she's got some important thing coming up and this and that and the other. It's like, dude, she ain't thinking about with you when she's banging five, six, seven, eight other dudes. What like what are you doing? I you know, it, this is something that, you know, being being now like I, I've talked about this on Thursday. Like I got to, I've gotten to a point now where I really don't have many interactions or at least in my personal social circle. Like I don't hang out with normie regular people that would do shit like this. Like I hang out mm -hmm. with guys that are in the community. I talk about guys that are in the 10% SOU, whatever you, the generals, like that's my circle. And those guys would never entertain this stuff for, for a second. So you sort of, you have to see these things to remind yourself that guys like this not only exist, they exist by the thousands, if not the millions. Um, mm -hmm. so stuff like this is, is just, it's even worse now that it hits me because I've been out of that. Like, I don't mess with that cesspool of, of normie, you know, let guys, let girls walk all over you guys kind of thing. And so when I read this stuff and I hear this stuff, it's just, I'm almost just like, I almost think, how is this even real? How is this possible? How is this, how does this even exist? But it's it's the reality for so many guys out there. It's just way too common, man. And nobody's nobody's saying anything about it. I mean, you know, no. we gotta step up, you know, step up and have these conversations and use these things as examples because what that's what they are. You know, people sometimes say, Oh, you know, you're gotten so uh jaded or like everything you post is like negative about women. It's like I'm just holding up a mirror and reflecting mirror. back the facts of what's what's going on, what other people are talking about, and providing genuine 
constructive, useful feedback so that you don't make the same dumb mistakes. If you want to close your eyes and sleepwalk back through life, go for it. Have fun, man. Enjoy it. And why people want to go to Reddit for advice is beyond me because the top advice is always like, oh, it sounds like a you problem, bro. Like you yeah. should have checked her phone. You it, it, Probably the top comment is like, you deserve this for checking her phone. Wow. Way to be trusting. I, like it's probably just something like that. I'm pretty sure that you'll see stuff like, well, did you talk to her about her love language and try to serve her better? Or maybe she's not getting would, what she needs out of you, or maybe you're right? not, you know, maybe she she really loves you, but she doesn't feel the chemistry with you. Exactly. Um, or or there's gonna be some chick that's gonna chime in the mirror, like, well, what were you doing wrong that you know led her to step out of the relationship? Sort of thing. Yeah, like, you know, you fault. have to ask yourself what you fault. did wrong. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here. That clip's from if you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line, books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.